Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you track navigation using screen sets in Reaper. So the project in front of me here, I'm just about to mix it. But as you can see, there's a lot of tracks. A bunch of drum tracks, some bass tracks, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, piano, and lead and background vocals. So this project is fairly large, making it hard to navigate or get around to find tracks. So if I open up my mixer, it's the same thing. We have to scroll through to find the track we want to work with. But luckily, there's a quick way to navigate around our project using screen sets. Let's take a look. If we go up here to the view menu, we can go down here and choose screen sets. We'll use the keyboard shortcut Control E on the PC or Command D on the Mac and choose it. And that opens up the screen sets dialog. Now, this feature can do a lot of different things, but in this video, we're just going to focus on track navigation or getting around our project and finding the track or tracks we want to work with. But if you want to learn more about screen sets, I have a whole bunch of other videos that go much deeper. So we're going to focus on this tab right here, track views. And as you can see, I already created a screen set right here that I named home base. And it's based on what we're seeing in here. So if I scroll down and zoom in, make my tracks bigger, zoom in more. Let's say I want to go back to the way it looked before. I could just double click the screen set I saved and I'm right back to where I was before. And we could see in this screen set, if I resave it, these are the parameters I saved in this screen set. But we're not going to use all of them to navigate our tracks. We just need these two track control panel status, visibility and height, and track mixer status, visibility, order, and controls. So let's create our first screen set. I'm going to do it using screen set one. We'll save it. I'll give it a name, call it everything, as we're seeing all our tracks. But we're just going to save these last two in the screen set. So Reaper is just going to recall these two parameters if we load this screen set. Let's save it, and we can see it right here. So now, if we go to the view menu, right down here, we have the track manager, which we can open up with Control Shift M on the PC or Command Shift M on the Mac. And that shows us all our tracks. And it's also the best place to show and hide our tracks. But let's hide all these in the track control panel and these in the mixer. And now all our tracks are hidden, but we can get them back by opening up our screen sets and double clicking the everything screen set we created. Double click it. And now we see all our tracks again, but it's still hard to navigate to find the track we want to work on. Let's say we want to work on the pianos. We could scroll down and look for them. They're right over here, but that takes some time. It's quicker if we create a screen set for each group of our tracks. So let's go back to the track manager and let's hide everything again in the track control panel and the mixer. And let's just show our drums from here to here. Do the same in the mixer, and we could save this as a screen set. But before we save it, let's change the size of our drums. So it fills up the entire screen like this. And let's say we want our screen to look like this when we open up the drums screen set. So we'll save it in here. Select screen set two and save it. We'll name it drums. And again, We'll just choose these two variables. So now, if we choose everything, we see everything again. But if we just choose the drums, we just see our drum tracks. 
in the track control panel, and also in the mixer. We're just seeing our drums. We can do the same thing for every group of our tracks. Let's hide these, and let's just show our bass. And again, let's make them bigger to fill up our screen. We could save this as screen set three. And now we can go back to everything, our drums or the bass. Let's do the same thing for all the tracks in our project. Let's do it with acoustic guitars. Again, we'll make the tracks bigger and save it to screen set four. Do the same with the electric guitars, make them bigger, save it to screen set five, do the same with our pianos. We'll use screen set six, and finally, we'll do the vocals. Let's make the lead a bit bigger and these tracks bigger as well. And we'll save this as a vocal screen set. And we'll use screen set seven. Now it's a good idea to use the same number on each project you're working on. So you can remember and recall them a bit quicker. So now let's go back to everything. If we wanted to edit our bass, open it up, choose the bass. And now we're just seeing our bass tracks in the track control panel and also in the mixer. And we can do that with every group we want. Our acoustic guitars, the electric guitars, the piano, and the vocals. And like I said, if you remember the number we used, we could assign keys to each one of the groups. By default, Reaper tends to have the first few with keyboard shortcuts, but you could use any keyboard shortcuts you want, both for loading the screen sets or for saving them or resaving them, as we could tweak on the fly and resave them as we need them. But let's add keyboard shortcuts to load them. And I'm going to use the number keys on the keyboard, which normally default to markers, but I don't tend to use that as much. Of course, you can use any keyboard shortcuts you want, but I'm going to use one through seven. So now we can recall our screen sets using these numbered keys. One for everything, two for drums, and so on. And if we can remember those numbers, we can navigate through our project very quickly. If we want to see everything, hit one in the track control panel. And the mixer, although it can be hard to find the track you want, so we can hit three for bass. And we just see our bass tracks in the mixer and the track control panel, or four for the acoustic guitars in the mixer as well, five for the electric guitars, six for the piano, and seven for the vocals. And of course, you can use any numbers you want, but try to remember them from project to project. So hitting one for me is always everything. So I can see all the tracks in my mix. But if I want to work on the vocals, I hit seven and I just see the vocals. Or two for the drums, three for the bass, and so on. And it could all be set up right in here in the screen sets. So that's pretty much it. That's track navigation using screen sets in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.